Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about browser toolbars. I'm going to be going over how you get the browser toolbars installed on your computer and you don't realize it. And I'm also going to be showing you a couple tools you can use to get rid of them. So let's jump right into it. So I just downloaded a software tool called FileZilla. Uh, it's something that we use for our business that allows us to transfer files back and forth. But um, it works this way with many uh, free software tools that you go out there and find, which is why I don't recommend you download free tools, even if they're open source, because like this one, that's the way it is. And as you see, as we go through the setup process, um, the second step here, it shows you here basic installation and the average person, they're not going to pay too much attention to this and they're just going to go through it and click accept. Uh, but what you notice here is that uh, by default it's set on basic installation and you can see these check boxes are checked to install uh, my search dial toolbar and extension uh, for browsers and it, it'll also set your default search as my search dial it'll also change your home page to my search dial and open up a new tab it'll take you to my search dial so if you don't want these installed you have to make sure when you go through installation uh, setup you would check this box and you would untick all of these but for this example I'm going to go ahead and install this on my computer then I'm going to show you how to remove it and this works the same with all the other toolbars out there so if you have other toolbars such as the ask toolbar the Yahoo the Bing whatever it is uh, I'm going to show you the, the tools that you need to uninstall them with as well as how to get rid of them from changing your home page and your default search engine so let's go ahead and get right into it okay so here we are and I have three browsers pulled up here I have Google Chrome Firefox and Internet Explorer now Google Chrome seems to deal the best with these toolbars sometimes preventing them from making certain changes as you can see really the only change it does is when you start up Google Chrome it's going to open it's going to have a new tab here that also uh, shows the my search dial search but it still opens the default Google it does not change that which is really good now next we have Internet Explorer and you can see here there's no toolbar listed here as well for my search dial but it does change the home page and the new tabs to the my search dial uh, page now Firefox it actually shows the whole toolbar listed here and it changes the home page as well as the new tab to my search dial so it has a full blown effect on the Firefox so that's the one that I'm going to be working with but it works the same pretty much with all browsers what I'm going to show you um, in this demonstration here and how to remove these toolbars you can remove them basically the same way in any browser that you have so um, let me go ahead and show you what you need to get these uh, toolbars off your computer with okay guys I'm here in Chrome and where you want to go to download this tool is uh, you can see it here in the toolbar and I also put it underneath this video in the description so if you click on it it'll take you uh, straight to the file where you can download it it's toolbarshredder.com forward slash ETR and so when you go there it's going to ask you you know where you want to download at I've already downloaded it so I'll show you how to go through that process right now but uh, make sure you do download it and then once you do um, you're going to have a new file on your desktop and when you open it it's going to look like this here as you can see right now it's showing Internet Explorer it has uh, the Bing bar it also has my search dial toolbar Google Chrome it's not showing it because Google Chrome did not allow it to install uh, the actual extension instead there's just a single change we have to make in Google Chrome uh, to get rid of that default page that's showing up there for the my search dial search now Mozilla Firefox it is showing that uh, it changed you know there's a couple of things here there's a toolbar uh, plus the new tab settings and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all this junk in here so you want to go through and you want to select everything you want to get rid of so I want to completely fix the Firefox Internet Explorer and then now this tool you know it'll show you what's available to uninstall but it does cost twenty dollars to register and in my opinion for the um, stress and hassles it'll save you it is definitely well worth it it's it's one of the cheaper tools you can use out there just to uninstall and get rid of all these extensions and uh, a lot of the files on your computer but when you go to uninstall it's going to ask you to register it. would you like to register it uh, you want to click yes it's going to redirect you so where you can uh, pay the twenty dollars for it and once you do 
it's uh, once you purchase it you're going to be redirected to a page that looks like this um, it's it's nineteen dollars and ninety five cents and you're going to say activate your new software by calling this phone number guys you don't have to call this phone number uh, basically what they do is when you call this number they try to sell you other tools and make you believe you have to have them so uh, don't worry about that part so once you get it if uh, if you scroll down on this page that they give you it's going to give you a license code so what you want to do okay and so once they give you the, the code uh, and you click on uninstall uh, it's going to bring up this do you have a license key and you're basically going to put it in here so I'm going to go ahead and put my license key in here and then you click on activate now and there you go thank you for registering easy toolbar remover now it says are you sure you want uninstall the selected toolbars I'm going to click yes Close Mozilla Firefox. Okay, I gotta close. Uh, don't have to close uh, Google Chrome because uh, there's nothing for it to uninstall. So let me go ahead and close this one. Click OK and Internet Explorer. Let me see where I have it at. Let's close it. Okay, the operation was completed that fast, and you can see here it's removed them. So now let's go in and let's check and see if it done its work. Okay, here we are back in Firefox. You can see the toolbar is gone, but you can still see the tab here in the home page showing my search dial as well as the search box here. Now, with any toolbars you remove, you're going to have to manually go in and change this setting because toolbar software will not do this for you. So what you want to do is you want to go into your settings. We'll go into Firefox. We'll go into Options. And you can see right here the home page is still set to my search dial. And basically, you just want to change this to whatever you want to use. and we're going to use Google. Click OK and let's close Firefox and open it back up. And you can see your home page is now set back to Google. Now it shows here that uh, your default search if you search in this box is my search style all you want to do is tick this box here and choose uh, Google and that's going to change that back. So now your your Firefox browser is back to normal the extension's gone, uh, well most of it anyway, and let me get to that here in just a second because there are additional files uh, that get kept on your computer from these um, extensions and I will show you how to get rid of those very quickly and very easily here in just a minute but um, this is how you're going to change um, any settings for any toolbars you have on your computer basically you're going to use um, the, the toolbar software, you're going to register it and then you're going to just tick each extension or uh, toolbar you want to get uh, rid of. It's going to automatically uninstall those for you. And then you're going to go in and manually change your home page back to whatever you want it as. And you're going to see your browser will be back to normal. But here's the thing. A lot of these toolbars, they're very smart because they are made from these huge marketing companies. And their whole point of these toolbars is to follow your browsing habits. In fact, the Ask toolbar, if, if you have it installed on your computer, it's one of the most popular ones. Uh, if you read in the permissions of it, it says that it can even access the data on your computer. And it can also see every website that you visit and go to. And it stores all this information and it keeps it for marketing purposes. So that's definitely not something you want on your computer. And the thing is, once you remove these toolbars, a lot of these files are left behind in your computer. Um, and it still kind of works in the background without you even knowing it. And so what I want to do is show you how to get rid of all those extra files and basically make your computer uh, back to like new condition your browsers and and not only that but it's going to help make your computer run a lot faster also so uh, let me show you how to do that okay guys so this step is totally optional um, but when you put these two together it's it's going to clean your computer out it's going to make it ten times faster it's going to make it boot faster restart faster close down faster um, there's just all kinds of files that get put away in your computer from things that you download and store that cause it to slow down. So just really quickly, I want to show you, once you have Easy Toolbar Remover installed and, and once you've registered it, you'll notice down at the bottom they have a program listed here. Now this program, the reason they do this is because they know when you combine these two together it's going to have the biggest effect and they give you a huge discount on it. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to download it. Then once you download it, it's going to give you an icon that looks like this. 
and it's going to run and it's going to scan your computer. Now guys, this program is it's it's really amazing. This thing takes uh this would be like taking your computer to an antivirus shop and having them clean it all out. Basically, this is the kind of stuff that they use, okay? And this program itself, I think it costs like uh 25, 30 bucks and it is they give you a 25% off discount if you use the link um, that shows up in the bottom of this here so if you go there and if you register it uh, download it it'll tell you to register it uh, you can see here that I scan my computer and after those uh, toolbars I have 4649 items to clean and optimize now what this does it shows you a full report once it scans your computer to let you know that these aren't fake files it's not trying to trick you into saying um, you know the the you have to purchase this software because we're saying you have this many files yada yada but it you can go in here and you can see every file listed in your computer and where they're at uh, and it will show you what those files are and you can actually locate those on your computer yourself if you'd like to but you can see here it fixes registry problems temporary registries it cleans out cookies and web pages um, it cleans out invalid shortcuts it even optimizes your computer for uh, for the best settings and uh, something here I'm going to show you which is really really good but this here let's go in here real quick optimize settings you can see here you can optimize your computer for better performance the security of it uh, you can optimize your internet speed to run better and faster and then there's your report as well and then down here 22 programs loaded at startup and you can remove programs to speed up your startup time and what happens is a lot of these programs you download they're set to automatically boot up when you start your computer and that's why it can take so long for your computer to start up because it has to load all these programs before it gets going and you can go in here and you can simply select these files that uh, that you don't want loading when your computer starts and click remove from startup and that's going to uh, allow your computer to load up uh, 10 times faster depending on um, the overall time that it takes for it to load but uh, once you get this installed it's going to ask you to register it you're going to register it it's like 29 bucks like I said it's about a fraction of the cost of what some of these other ones cost out there and then you're going to run a scan on it you're going to click fix now it's going to clean it and it's going to run through and it's going to fix every one of these settings for you and basically bring your computer back to new so I know this video has been you know going on 13 minutes long but overall within a matter of uh, about six to seven minutes you can have every toolbar removed off every browser you have uh, have your browsers back to normal and you can also have your comp your computer cleaned out of all error files all cookies um, you can have it booting and loading faster optimize have your internet run faster uh, pretty much have a brand new computer just from these two tools um, that are very very inexpensive compared to a lot of them that's out there on the market so I hope this overall helps you guys to uh, um, you know get your computer running better performing better and uh, have less stress and headaches from all those toolbars and files that's just kind of building up on your computer so uh, you can check it out like I said that link is under this video if you click on it it'll allow you to download uh, the easy toolbar software where you can remove those toolbars and then you'll get access to uh, the other tool as well as 25% off so I uh, hope you guys like this video leave a comment below and let me know how well it works for you